Well, you know, I did a film like, 100 years ago, 30 years ago, actually, about, uh, called Deliverance. Uh, and, oh. uh, Thank you. And, uh, you were, you were all, all too young to see it then. <laughs> but uh, there was a wonderful actor named De Ned Beatty uh, and John Voight, who, of course, had, uh, and Ronnie Cox. And we did the film, and, uh, and Ned Beatty said, I I'm, it was his first film. And he said, I'm, I'm really worried about doing this film because for the rest of my career, people will say, you're the guy that got, you know, boogered. In, 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 in the film. And I said, don't be ridiculous. I mean, because he was a brilliant actor and you're going to be nominated. And he has been nominated three times since then. I've done nine pictures with him. And, and, and when we were together, you know, uh, we we're walking down the street, people come up and say, aren't you, Ned Beatty says yes. And they say, aren't you the guy that got boogered? In the <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, we got to the race scene, and John Borman had five cameras. Five cameras, because he knew that Ned Beatty was only going to do the scene once. <laughs> and uh, they began the scene, all five cameras rolling. A and you see the movie, and you hear dialogue that wasn't in the script, like, Squeal like a pig! <laughs> come on, squeal like a pig! <laughs> oh, 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 come on, boy! <laughs> Got a lot of pretty mouth. <laughs> so I love that stuff. And, uh, I, in the meantime, am off camera going. <laughs> and it went on and on and on to the point where I, I couldn't take it anymore. And I, I ran in and grabbed the guy who had a hold of, of, of Ned. And, uh, and I said to John Borman, why didn't, why, didn't, why didn't you cut? And he said, I was waiting for you to run in because I wanted the audience to be stretched to the moment where they couldn't stand the tension any longer. And I figured you'd run in at that moment. And, and Ned said, and rightly so, what if he hadn't? <laughs> I got a bit excited there, Burt Reynolds slapping my leg and telling me to squeal like a pig. But it just... <laughs> Because... And you have got a mouth pretty mouth. <laughs> 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 but this is for cleaning your cock. <laughs> it really is? <laughs> it really is? <laughs> what do you mean? When cleaning... When clean... Where does it say? Look, uh, with clean running water, Possibly the shower. Doesn't have to be. Could be under a waterfall eating a bounty bar. We're not sure. <laughs> Gently, well, you know, do things with bits of it. And, uh, and then you apply a mild soap or gel. There's the Let gel. Let see that. And then you just... Dabby dab dab. <laughs> Thank you so much. But I'm intrigued by why it's the ship. <laughs> so you can do that so you can get back at it. Yes. <laughs> Look down. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. With clean running water, possibly in the shower, gently withdraw the foreskin of the glands. <laughs> that was the bit I was avoiding reading out yeah. loud. <laughs> we like dogs in the show, and sometimes we we do delve into the dark and not admirable world of dog clothing. And um, this, we found that, no, and no, and this, this is one of the cutest we've found. It, what it is, it's a leash, mm -hmm. right, for your dog, and it's a little harness for your dog. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, wait, 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 wait. I've got pictures, I've got pictures. So, you put your dog in this, and that's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? This is really sordid. I'm kind of loath to tell you this, oh, but I'm going to. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Uh, OK, so, right, well, be quick. So, right, I was doing this film, and um, I went for a fitting, and I hadn't started yet. I was just, I came for a makeup thing. And so Joan Collins was in it. 
And they said to me, oh, Alan, um, you know, your car's not here yet, and, but Joan, and your trailer's not here because you've not started, but Joan's trailer's here. Do, would you mind going and having a little rest in Joan's trailer until your car gets here? And I was like, let me think. No, I don't mind at all. So <laughs> I get into Joan's trailer, have a good snoop around, of course, and then, and then I'm overwhelmed. Like, she's got, like, her makeup all out. <laughs> it's so terrible. She's got her makeup on all her brushes and all this stuff. And I'm in Joan Collins trailer, you know, it's incredible. And so I have, I'm overwhelmed by this carnal desire and just this primal thing sweeps over me. And I get, I go like this, and her blusher brush is there, and I get it, and I shove it down my pants, and then I put it back. <laughs> <laughs> Never worth it, then. Never worth it, then. There are two Joan Collins who live in kind of um, dynasty country, in <sighs> dynasty land. And you do sort of think, gosh, I, I wonder if they get a lot of nuisance calls. I bet they do. <laughs> Everybody's going to be at work, darling. It's six hours earlier. They're all going to be... Hi, this is David and Joan. Nobody's home to answer your call, but leave us a message and we'll call you when we get in. <laughs> Thank you, Denver, for spoiling this item in the show. <laughs> <laughs> I do wish someone could have been in. That would have been really good. Hello, hello, but... hello. <laughs> We thought, we thought, you see, we could maybe royal up your Prince, your Prince Albert in some way. And do you remember the thing they did with uh, Gail Porter when they projected her onto uh, Big Ben? <laughs> <laughs> well, we thought maybe, just maybe, we could bring Prince Albert home uh, to, to from whence he came. So if you could bring the lights down for a second so we can see this properly. Here is, here is uh, Buckingham Palace now. <laughs> okay, and we've got uh, one of these projectory things. <laughs> I really hope the Queen's asleep or not in, because we're going to turn it on now. There it is! <laughs> now, um, that's the kind of the classic face-off yes. thing. And you're really kind of staring at each other. Now, is there no temptation to laugh or... Do you know what I mean? Do you never kind of do the staring and think, oh, this is just stupid? <laughs> Actually, at one time I did feel like that, but, uh, you know, at this point we kind of look at each other and try and see a weakness in each other, so... Can you do it? Yeah, but if I do that, I'll have to punch you. Oh. <laughs> I have a lovely picture of the look and that'll do me. <laughs> Let's have a stir down. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we stand. <laughs> this is terrifying. Explosion. Do you know about the Tim Tam? Yeah, see? It's a cult thing. So, so what do you do? Okay, so you bite off. Are we both going to do it? I think we should. Okay. <laughs> I think it's going to get everywhere. Oh, bugger, it doesn't matter. All right. Okay, so um, you get your tea. Actually, this, this, to... this suit is so stained already. I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was clean when I put it on last <laughs> night. <laughs> I don't know what happens. <laughs> you wear it once in a club and look at it. You can send them a picture of yourself, <coughs> and you get to meet Jesus. Oh. <laughs> you can meet Jesus, as in here, on your wedding day. Okay. There's Jesus. <laughs> just, just about to throw confetti. Um, um, this woman, I like this woman, because uh, even Jesus isn't interested in her. Look, he's looking right that way. <laughs> See, you get old, you wear glasses. No one cares, because nobody cares. Yeah, no. And, uh, just because you were coming on the show, uh, we had money to spend, so oh. there's, a, there's an everything. You and Jesus. Hey. Hey. Um, <laughs> Aren't you thrilled? I'm touched. Yeah, God, I'm glad it went there. That's oh, so yeah. good. That's <laughs> really great. Come on, come on, come on, focus, everyone. So, you have to bite off the top corner. Like that. Okay. Bitten. And then okay. diagonally the other corner. Do you have television in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> I 
How bored are you with a lot of this? Right. <laughs> okay. Very. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. And now you're going to use it like a straw. And you're going to drink the tea. And when, when you start to feel the tea come up the biscuit and it touches your lips, you quickly, because it's going to melt, turn it around and put it in your mouth. And that's when it gets orgasmic. Okay? Oh, my God. So, so. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> okay, okay. Should we do it together? On. Okay. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> that is... Oh, my God! How good is that? I can't... Tell you! How Television is, is such a limited medium. I can't... <laughs> that was fantastic! I've never done it with the caramel one. Really? <laughs> And, I mean, Patrick was on, on the, the show and he was talking about kind of the, the, the used to play sort of tricks, practical jokes at each other. Yeah. Um, there was one that he didn't tell, but it's, it's in the book. Talks, it's the one where they, they put a, a new disabled toilet in, yeah. in the studio. Right. Well, I was in there one day and doing whatever I was doing, and I heard this. Who's in there? And I said, well, I'm me in here. Wh who are you? I said, none of your business. Said, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm... <laughs> Going to the bathroom. What do you think? I'm? He says, I'm disabled. I've got to get in there. Well, you know, disabled people get testy, too. He was a little cranky, and I said, well, you're just going to have to wait until I'm finished. And he was revving on, and I could hear him cursing out there and everything. I finished up. I opened the door, and he says, I'm going to call the, the uh, police on you. What the hell is your name, anyhow? I said, Patrick Duffy, and go fuck yourself. <laughs> Norton. Who's that? It, it's Helen. Are you really Graham Norton? You're winding me up. No. <laughs> no that, that, that man is Steve. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Hi, how you going? That's fantastic. <laughs> could you, could you, would you mind? Uh, Honestly, uh, it, will only take, it will only take a few minutes. Uh, could you get on, on one of the space hoppers with Steve? And if the two of you could ride back to London Studios. I can't. I'm wearing a skirt. <laughs> You're wearing pants, aren't you? Yeah. You're fine. <laughs> Have you seen the show? We've seen worse. Yeah. Is this one of those moments you want to say, what fucking idea no, was this? <laughs> Slanderous. Mind your own business. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, no, oh, see, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm being delicate here. Okay. Wonder where you will. <laughs> oh, that... No, 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 no. Oh, uh. so, now scream when you want me to stop. Now, can right? I just say, are those eyes I can see? Yes, those are eyes, yeah. Great. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, my name's Graham, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I love your orange knees. <laughs> Oh, I have to say, Helen, it does look a little small now. Yeah. <laughs> right, so you just get on them, get on them. Come on, come on, come on. And pass the phone, pass the phone back to Steve. Okay, you need to pass the phone back to Steve. Okay, well done, Julia. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Now, just before you set off to the studios for your prize. Yeah. Well, I've got someone here who's got a message for you just before you start your challenge. Okay, here goes. Okay, this is a pop quiz, Hot Shots. There's a device in your space hopper. If you fall below 30 bounces per minute, they will explode. 